Hey guys, it's May May and welcome to my fall home tour. And I'm gonna do my best to not make you guys dizzy. I'm gonna move slowly so you can see everything. And we'll talk about everything up close. You see the top of Vinny's head because he's in his recliner and <laughs> they don't see your face. And you'll probably hear from him because I'm sure he'll be the peanut gallery. You gonna be the peanut gallery? More than likely. And today, of course, there's landscapers working outside. I thought they were done when I turned the camera on, but apparently they're not. So that's life. We'll get through it. All right. So let me start at the door. Let me move real slow. I'm going to start at the front door. And this is my blanket ladder. So most people have seen blanket ladders. That's a thing, right? And I want to tell you what I did with this one. A couple of things first. A lot of you guys will have seen the quilt that Sue and Dean Bryant made for Vince. And on the back side, or actually the front side of the quilt, it's deer. But on the back side, it has these beautiful fall colors. And so I took that quilt and folded it and hung it here. And I love all the fall. I don't even know if they meant to do that on purpose, but I love those fall colors, so I hung it there. And something I did down here, which is just me needing another fall blanket, was that piece there is a table runner. And what I have behind it, this is behind the scenes, right? So what I have behind it is my regular blanket that hangs there all the time, which is just a white fur blanket. But I took that table runner that I'm not using this year and hung it there, and I thought, that looks cool. It looks like a like a blanket, although it's not. At the bottom, you'll see that is a craft project from a long time ago. That is a three-tier basket that I did on video. I'll link those. Anything I did, I'll link for you guys, but I made that ages ago. It was a very popular video. Actually, a lot of people did it. It's all Dollar Tree stuff, so I'll link that for you. And then at the side, I just have this leaf garland, which I still cannot remember where I got that from. I want to say I either got it from an auction or like a floral store. I'm not really sure, but I just ran the little lighted leaf garland up the side of the ladder. And then these pumpkins I made on video ages ago. These are some trivets I got at the thrift store. It was a set of three. And when I got them, I could just see pumpkins. I'll flip it over so you can see the back. They look like this on the back. And I actually did a video where I took um, cardstock and did this. So I will be sure to link that video for you as well. So that is my entryway door right there. And then if we pan around, there's a lot that's changed since you were here last time because I've done a lot of redecorating and I don't think I've done a house tour since Christmas. So there's a lot that's different. These lamps are one of them. I love these lamps, but I'm still on the fence about these lamps. So I have been looking for lamps for probably a year and I wanted some that were white and chunky. I like that chunky look of the base and the Buffalo check shades. I found these at Kirkland's for only like $59 a piece. And listen, if you've been looking at lamps, lamps have really gone up. Um, I think the cheapest lamps I found were like $129 and I needed two and I just wasn't going to do it. So when I found these at Kirkland's, I snatched these up. So I got two of them. But what I'm not in love with is when the light is on, the buffalo check kind of blows out because the gray looks white also. But when the light is off, it looks really good. So I'm still on the fence about them, but... They're, they're growing on me because I really like the base. So that's some new lamps I've got. There is one of Fern's Babies on the end table there. That's actually Amigo. Um, there were three branches in there, so I named him Migo. And uh, he's doing pretty good. I'm pretty proud of him. At the fireplace, let's start at the mantle. This is where the peanut gallery will jump in. <laughs> so I hate my mantle. It has always been my Achilles heel. I hate it. The reason is we have this massive television above it. Nothing from you today? Not yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we have this massive television above it, which only leaves me like, I think we measured it. It's like six inches underneath for me to decorate. So I never like the way it looks. Now, I do like it this year. I love what I've done here. I saw a lady on Pinterest um, just take a bunch of picks, just floral picks, and just cram them on the mantle. And I thought it looked really good. So that's what I did. I took every kind of floral pick I could come up with and I just sort of crammed it on the mantle, and I had it hang off the edge. I really like how it kind of hangs off the edge like that, and then you can barely see them today because it's daylight in here, but these um, acorn candles, there's one there, and there's one on the end. Those are battery-operated candles from QVC that I've had for several years, and I love them, but I didn't want them to sit straight up, so you see how the one in the middle is like sitting on its base and just sitting straight up? So for these guys, I took, and you can see it if we get it close. See that red right there? I took a red Dixie cup and I cut it down to make a pedestal so this guy can sit on an angle. And those are on a timer. 
So I don't have to turn them on and off. They do their own thing. But I love how those look up there. And I really like it at night when those little acorns are really glistening. So there is that. Then down here, you'll see that I have these planters. These are metal planters. There's two of them. You'll see the other one in a second. I got those at Rustic Relics. You're going to hear a lot about them probably throughout the house because I get a lot of stuff there. But I got those there, and every season, I just load them up with whatever is seasonal. So here you can see, I should tell you this, they're very deep because they're planters. They're made for putting, you know, flowers in. So I stuffed them with some old pillows to make them not so deep, and that gives me a place to decorate on. And so like those pumpkins are just kind of sitting on top of the pillows and then on top of each other. And then that is a garland that I've just um, cut in half. I put half of it on this one and half on the other. And then just some pumpkin sprigs. I think I got those at Hobby Lobby several years ago. And over here, you can see it a little better. See that garland just wrapped around. Those pumpkins, I think, came from Kirkland's, I want to say, ages ago because I would have gotten them probably last year. And then that little sign that says, so very thankful is actually from our store. I don't think we have any of those left. I think they went kind of quick, but I really thought that was cute hanging there on my ladder, which my little mini ladder there came from Decorators Warehouse in Texas. I got it the last visit we made out there. And then my little Buffalo check blanket was a gift from Brenda. She gave me that at Christmas this year. So I thought that's a perfect place to put it for my little mini ladder. And let's step back here. Okay. One of my new favorite things in the house, I have a lot of new favorite things because like I said, I've done a lot of decorating this year. This Ottoman coffee table situation. I love it, okay? But it didn't start out like this. <laughs> Originally, I found a round Buffalo Check coffee table that I really wanted. It was a upholstered Ottoman and it was beautiful. It was storage and everything, but it was too small for the area and it was actually very expensive. It was over $200 for the one coffee table, but it was too small. So I started looking at how I could create the same thing or get the same feel without that particular one. So I ordered, this is actually a storage bench. There's one, two, and three. Okay. So I ordered two of these thinking that would be fine. I would put them side by side. I would turn them long ways between my couch and love seat, and that would be my coffee table. Well, when they came in and I did that, Vince was like, I like where you're going with that, but it's too small. And we lived with it for a while because I couldn't get another ottoman. Remember that? They were sold out. So we had the two for a while, but we were both kind of like, it's just too small. So Vince is like, you need to get a third one. So I did. So I got three of these. Now, yes, it's a little expensive, but I'm going to tell you why it's worth it. Okay. They are $129 each. By the way, I have set up one of those Amazon stores and I'm going to link it in the description. So like the stuff that I can find on Amazon that I'm showing you today, I'll have in my little store so you guys can pick up um, anything I'm showing you. But these guys are like $129 each. So yes, it's expensive, but guess what you get from it? You get the coffee table for all the time. Then when I have company over and I need to split it apart, like at Christmas when my kids are here, I can take these apart and have seating all around the room. And even better, the storage that they have, I lost a little bit of storage in my um, dining room when I redid it. And these have given me storage for our board games. And I promise you, this is no joke, Every one of those is full of board games. We've been collecting them since the kids were, you know, not since they were little, but since our house fire, we've been collecting them. And so we have board games in here. Every one is full. So it works out great. It's cute to look at. It gives me a place to decorate, and I love it. So I always, even on my old leather ottoman, which I used to have in here, I would put a table runner. So this table runner is from TJ Maxx, I'm pretty sure. Over there, I have a Ray Dunn blanket, and that's actually not decoration. That's actually my blanket and my pillow that I use every day, and it stays right there. <laughs> and <laughs> I told him I use it every day. Every day. Every day. Over here is Fern. Fern has a new home. So this one is Fern in her stay green Ray Dunn plant, um, planter. She's doing really good in this spot. I had to move around a couple times to find her home, but I think she likes it right there. And then beside her is one of her sprutlings, I guess we'll call it. And I want to say his name was Vern. I can't remember exactly, but I think we called him Vern. And he was at the shop, but they're lonely there. So I brought them here and I really love them. I got this, um, this planter from eight, like back in April from Lowe's. Was it Lowe's? I think it was Lowe's where we ordered your parents dirt that time. I think so. Anyway, I think I got this from Lowe's. And then this one obviously is a um, Ray Dunn that I got from eBay. Been doing a lot of eBay shopping and I'll show you why in a second. <laughs> so this little spot here, 
um, which won't stand up. I've got to pin it. I just keep forgetting to bring a pin in here to pin it. But this on my chairs, by the way, all this is new since you guys have been here. I don't know where to start. Okay, on my chairs, the black and white is a table runner I cut in half and just laid over my chairs. So that's what that is. I tied a bow in the back and then put the little fall pick on it, but it's fallen over. I'll fix it. Okay, let's talk about my dining room since you have not seen this. The last time you guys would have seen it, it would have been my floating shelves on the wall over there, which I loved. However, I started a new collection. <laughs> I was introduced, I think in October of last year, it was before Christmas, a few months before Christmas, I was introduced to what's called Fenton Silvercrest. It's a glass, and it's absolutely gorgeous, and I started collecting it over a year ago now. And I wanted a hutch to put it in, and I really, there was this one hutch I fell in love with. It was beautiful. It was thin, and it was like a lot of shelves to put a lot of my Fenton in, but it was like $3,000, and I just wasn't doing it. So I went online and started looking at how I could make get the look without the expense. And through trial and error, I even ordered another hutch from a company. It came in. It was awful. It didn't work. Not, not because it was ugly. They, they sent me two different pieces that didn't fit each other. Then they couldn't replace it because it was discontinued. It was like two months of back and forth. Till finally, I went on Amazon and I found these bookshelves. And these are just bookshelves made by a company called Solder. I think it's S-A-U-D-E-R. And I tried to put them into my little Amazon store, but they're not available right now. I'm going to link them in the description anyway, because when they come back, they're really worth it. Um, and so we put them together. But do you see how the back is um, brown and the sides are white? That's Vinny's idea. When we were putting them together, the backs were actually white that should be back there. But when you turn the piece around, it's this brown color. And he was like, that'll match your table because it'll be the two-tone and your silver crest will really pop. And he was right. So that's what we did there. And I'm going to take you over there in a second and show you the silver crest. I want you to get to see that. Up here is a hodgepodge of everything I have owned for years and years. So the give thanks sign actually came from our own store, but we're out of those right now. But all that other stuff is, I mean, I could go through everything and tell you where it came from, but it's all from local stores, from Hobby Lobby, from Kirkland's, some from my, like my mom gave me some of that, my mother-in-law gave me some of that, so it's just a hodgepodge of stuff over there. And on the table, I have a wooden dough bowl that I got from Rustic Relics a while back, and then this lantern, which is incredibly gorgeous, is an actual antique lantern from my pastor's farm. He gave that to me. And my favorite part is it has the real glass. Can you see the curve in the glass? It has the original glass, and I think it's gorgeous. So just a buffalo check runner, and then I'll show you these. Do you remember when I did my small business showcases? You will remember that we were sent these. Um, we were sent mug rugs, and I fell in love with them, but I wanted some buffalo check ones. So I emailed and asked if they could make me some for my for my table and she did she made me buffalo check with yellow which I asked for and then I asked her to use this scripture in particular and I just love it so I bought eight of these and I keep four on this end and then four on the other end so people have coasters um and where did the table and I want to say the table and chairs came from Wayfair I don't know if I'm right about that it might have been overstock you think it was overstock for the table Okay, here's the deal. The table and the chairs come together. These guys I purchased separate, but I love how this looks. I wanted the upholster, upholster chairs on the end, that kind of look that's kind of popular. And the table's incredible. It seats eight of us perfectly. Um, I don't have to have any leaves for it or anything. I'll try to link the table. I think it's still available. And, I'll, and I think the chairs came from Joss and Maine. Joss and Maine, I think it's J-O-S-S and -S Maine. I think that's where they came from. But this is my new dining room, and I love it. I wanted something more farmhousey, more, strangely enough, more modern, because it feels more modern, and it's brighter. Because if you remember, my old furniture was very dark, and I like the brightness of this. Okay, we'll go to Silvercrest last, because I want to show you that up close. All right, right here, I have just a candle from Bath & Body Works that I've literally had for like four years, that candle and that holder. So every year I just bring it out. I've barely burned it. Over here is kind of a collection of things, which I really love. First off, the pilgrims. See these guys? These were a gift from my mother. Um, she They weren't really a gift. 
she was getting rid of stuff she, from her fall that she didn't want. And these were stacked on the table. And I was like, Mom, I really want these. And she was like, you can have them. I don't know why she didn't love them, but I love them. They remind me of Jim Shore, although they're not. They're probably from Hobby Lobby. Let's check the bottom. Oh, A.C. Moore. Hmm, back in the day. Because um, we don't have an A.C. Moore anymore here. But I love those. And then these little guys were made for me by my buddy Gareth. These are made from CDs. Look at that, how cute. And yogurt cups. Um, this is a yogurt pot from the, from the UK. That's how they sell their yogurt in that size. Probably not the flavored yogurt, but just, you know, yogurt. But he made me three. So I have one there, one there. And then that one is holding up my male ping, uh, penguin pilgrim, my male pilgrim. And so I love those right there. And then this is just, I had that little cake stand. I had that little wreath. And this is a, um, pumpkin from Kirkland's my mother-in-law gave me ages ago. Then a little sign I think came from Hobby Lobby several years ago. And these, oh, these are so cool. These are from Rustic Relics. They came in a set of three. I have them kind of sprinkled around the house. But look, they're Avon and they have little sayings inside like that. And they're copper colored, which copper is my favorite. Let me show you. Oh, it's upside down. Ah, I'm not gonna be able to turn it. There we go. See, they're from Avon. Isn't that cool? So anyway, I thought those were really cute. I love the copper, so just have those sitting there. And let's go back to the bar over here, and we'll talk about what's over here. This is from Old Time Pottery, and my friend Lisa bought one, and I didn't buy it. We were there either last year or the year before, and she got one, and I didn't get it. And I thought, hmm, I really should have got one of those. And so I went back and got it for myself. I didn't get it when she did. I went back and got me one after I was at her house and saw how pretty it was but I love it. It's this big metal pumpkin, and those are battery-operated candles. They're not timers. I wish they were, but they're battery-operated candles, and then that's just a little green wreath that I had already, and a bow, and it's sitting on a, a metal tent, a metal cake stand that I got at Rustic Relics, and then a couple of, I think these are Dollar Tree pumpkins. No, Old Time Pottery. Some Old Time Pottery pumpkins. This one, too. Yep. I, I just gather pumpkins. I love pumpkins. Vince says we need some more, though, right? We don't have enough. We don't have enough pumpkins. This one, where's this one from? Hmm, I have no idea. Yes, I do, Hobby Lobby. There we go. So I've got that one from Hobby Lobby. And then this I call my mad scientist area because I think it looks like some kind of science experiment. But this is one of my oil diffusers. This is the Young Living, I think it's called the Area, Aria. I can't remember what it's called. And then I keep some oils here and then some I'll show you in a second. This I got on eBay. I love this. Okay. So if you don't follow my friend, Holly, she's not my friend, she's my cousin, but she's also my friend. If you don't follow Holly um, of Simply Lake and Lace, you need to, because I got this idea from her. So Holly and her mom use these pretty antique decanters, and they put them by their diffuser filled with water so they can just refill the diffuser without having to take it to the sink. And I was like, that's so cool. But the antique didn't fit my house. So I just started looking, and I found this on eBay. It's one of those like water jugs for beside your bed. And notice how the cup says sip. It's supposed to be for you to keep water in it. And then when you want to drink water, you have your glass and your jug. But I use it to keep water in it to fill my, um, my diffuser up. And I think it's really cool. And one reason I really like it, if you don't know much about diffusers, they work better with a room temperature or a luke, lukewarm water. So sitting it out here and not pulling it straight from the tap actually makes them diffuse a little better. Okay, so there's a pumpkin and a buffalo check plate. Then up here, I've got my arched window I got from Rustic Relics. I got those brass antlers from Rustic Relics. I hung that wreath on there. I don't know where the wreath is from. And then this is more of my oils that I just keep on that little ledge. So there's that. And then we'll pan back around. Let's see. Let's go in the kitchen. I think that's the only place. Oh, I didn't tell you about this one. This is a pumpkin-shaped diffuser, and I found it on Amazon, and I went to find it to put it in my little store, and I can't find it anymore, but I love it. Um, I bought one, and Josh fell in love with it and wanted to get one for Taylor, so he bought one for Taylor as well, but we, I love this diffuser, and right now I'm diffusing Thieves. Makes sense, right? Okay, in the kitchen. So, a lot to tell you about in here because this has changed a lot since last time you were here because... I changed all of this. <laughs> I had, um, well, you can go back and watch old home tours to see what it looked like before, but you know I'm in love with Buffalo Check, and I know this may be too much for some people, but it makes my heart happy, so that's why it looks like this, because <laughs> your house should make you happy, guys. That's what should happen, okay? So, at the top up here, these are my floating shelves that were in the dining room. Thomas hung these up here for me so I could have one big long shelf, so he just hung them side by side, 
And I just got those floating shelves at like, I think it was Home Depot or either Lowe's, one or the other. And the sign up there, this is as for me in my house. That is from Amazon. I was shocked to find it on Amazon. I wanted that scripture in particular. So I just started looking and I put it in my store. So you guys, if you want to pick it up, you can, but it's really pretty and you can pick different colors. I just love that sign. And then up there, I just have a bunch of little hodgepodge of stuff I've had over the years, just different things. These pumpkins are new this year. They're like galvanized steel looking kind of pleated and I love those. These shelves are new. I needed some more storage. I told you I lost storage when I took my hutch out of the dining room. So I needed a place to put what I kept in there. So each of these baskets, which are incredible by the way, hold different things. One's holding tools, one's holding um, plastic silverware. I think one had, one's empty, I think. I have one that I can put more stuff in. Plus I have all of these, these doors that hold so much more stuff. So I love both of these cabinets on either side of my window. The curtains came from Amazon. They're linked in my store. Okay, so this centerpiece came from, the basket came from Rustic Relics. I think it is incredible. It's made with like um, old willow, like you used to, like you see chairs and furniture made with. So it was only $15 and I think it's incredible for right here. This piece in the middle is from Kirkland's and I bought it several years ago to use in my planters at the fireplace and I did use it that way. But this year I stuck it here and I love how it looks. You probably saw me make these on video, made these guys using chalk couture. Then I just got buffalo check everywhere, anywhere I can put it. And now one of my favorite additions. So I follow a lady on YouTube that her channel is called Crazy Lamp Lady and she does um, picking like at thrift stores and stuff. And on her eBay one day, I was looking and these plates were there. Now I missed out on those particular plates, but I learned about them from her and I started searching on eBay. Somebody got those plates before I could get them. So what I love about them is, does that not look like Buffalo Check from far away? And these are vintage. They are made by WR Midwinter for out of England and they're absolutely gorgeous and they're not expensive plates, but I wanted something on these racks that kind of fit the room more and I love these plates. I have not got one for the middle, I'm tempted to get, these come in two different designs, like they have another scene that you can get. I'm tempted to get the other scene for the middle, but I kind of thought about putting like a, a sign with words here, maybe some scripture or something, but I don't know yet, but I love these plates. And listen, they're not expensive. I'm trying to go slow and show you the other side. I want to say I paid about $17 each and considering that they're antiques, I don't think that's bad. Let me see if I can get it out and show you the back. Because if you want to start looking for these, they're so pretty, y'all. I do not want to break these things. <laughs> Look at the crazing on there. Okay, so this is called Landscape WR Midwinter England. That's the, that's the mark you're looking for. And they're on eBay. There's other ones on eBay, and they're absolutely gorgeous. Okay, careful. Put it back. Careful. Okay. Then in the kitchen, let's see. So above the cabinets, I brought a lot of... I brought all of Vinny's, Vinny's Vittle kitchen stuff home. And you'll see a lot of it lives up there. Now my string art sign is one from our small business video we did. That's from String Time in the Rockies. I'll link all these companies below too for you guys if you want to pick anything up. But what I did up there this time is I just took down a couple of things and added a pumpkin here or there. Um, I have some copper up there. See where I've got a little pumpkin sitting there? So I didn't do too much up there. That's pretty much up there all the time except for those little pumpkins. Then I got my copper in the kitchen. Love all my copper. So there's another one of those copper pumpkins here. This little um, copper sand I found in Texas when we were out in Texas. And there's my tea kettle. And then my um, knife, fork, and spoon Raydun thingy is from eBay. And the reason I got it, does anybody else lose forks? The forks disappear in your house. They just disappear in my house. And so I had to buy a second set of silverware so I could have forks, but I didn't need all those knives and spoons. And I thought, where am I gonna store this? And so I thought, you know, if I get one of these little guys and put it on the counter, it looks cute and I have storage. So that's why I did that. The little um, tea towel ladder is from Rustic Relics. Love that. My little copper pieces I've had forever. These copper pumpkins I've had a long time. There's a set of three of those. Um, nothing fall over here. And, oh, right here. This is my little coffee stand or, yeah, my coffee station. So here I just have a bunch of little fall things here. Um, this was sent to me by a subscriber. I love that little mug. 
This little guy, this little watering can, I found at an um, antique store in Pelham, Alabama, if you're from Pelham. And there's a little bit of Ray Dunn. I keep my coffee in the one that says store, have some tea in that one. And then just for cute, they're just cutesy little things. I found these at Rustic Relics, and I think they're so pretty, but I haven't found exactly where I want them yet. So I just put them here for the copper. I just think they're pretty. And then, of course, the girls' treats. If I do this, they may go crazy. <laughs> They're in their kennels right now, so they're watching me. But the girls' treats are here. And is that it? I think that may be it. So I think that may be all of it. I think I've shown you. Oh, I want to take you to the Silvercrest. Let's go over there. Okay, so my Silvercrest collection up close. Now, I'm not very knowledgeable. I'm getting there, but I'm not super knowledgeable about what I've got. I just know what I like. And so silver, what makes it Silvercrest? Let's look at this basket, and I'll explain it. So it's milk glass here, but it has a crisp, a clear ruffle around the edge. I've heard it called petticoat glass, which I think is so pretty because it has the little ruffles. And then it has like the glass handle, and that's what makes it silver crest. Now there's different crests, and I'll show you. I've got one other different crest. That's one of my faves. But this is my collection so far. Lots of stuff. Jared and Sam gave me this. Vince and his parents gave me this dinner set for Christmas. I found this. This is called Spanish Lace. I love that guy. This one is called Paisley. Also beautiful. Um, down here, Vince gave me this for Christmas. It's a chip and dip set. Isn't that beautiful? And I just filled everything with pumpkins. Um, did you give me the big cake plate or did Mama give me that one? I don't remember. But anyway, either Mom or Vince gave me this one. <laughs> it's a huge silver crisp um, cake plate. Isn't that gorgeous? You can see the stand down there. So pretty. And let me see. Over here, they're, they're mostly gifts, y'all. This one, actually, I found at Rustic Relics. The sweet lady at Rustic Relics calls me when Silvercrest comes in, and I've been looking for a salad bowl, and this one came in, and I grabbed it. Um, I think Mom gave me this one, because this is the Spanish lace one. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, so pretty. And let's see. My Fenton logo, apparently, this is a thing. If you collect Fenton, you need a logo. I really want a milk glass one, a solid white one, but I haven't found one yet. But I like this one because it has the white on it. This is more of the dinner set Vince and his parents gave me. Here's the other crest I was telling you. Some crest is, this is ebony crest. And this one's, this is more expensive, so I don't collect this. But I found this one on eBay at a really good price. Um, I think it had been up for auction for a while and they didn't sell it. So I made an offer and they took it, which I couldn't believe. But this is Ebony Crest, which is my favorite crest, but it's just too expensive to collect. So <laughs> there we go. And then back there, we have a little more um, Silver Crest. And over here, I have a couple of different things. If you're a, if you're a glass person, you might be enjoying this. So this is a fitting deer. Isn't it beautiful? Let me show you the bottom so you can see. Oh, trying to be careful. So that is a little fawn, which I'm in love with. And I want to get a Christmas tree, a glass Fenton Christmas tree to put beside her. I just think that'll be cute. And then this is, let's see if I can remember it. I want to say this is coin dot, maybe French opalescent coin dot, I think. I'm not sure, but I found it and it kind of went with my collection. And I, I thought that's too pretty not to get. And it's supposed to have a stopper, like a glass stopper, but I could, it didn't have it. So I just got it anyway, like it is. Um, more of the collection down here. Love all of these goodies. This one is called a Jack in the Pulpit. Can you see it's got the little, let me take this out. See how it's got the top? That's called a Jack in the Pulpit. Love that little guy. And then down here, one of my favorite pieces is this one. I love this piece. I want you to be able to see it. See how pretty that is? It's almost like a slumped cake plate. Like they just slump the sides up like that. This is another one of my favorites. This is um, this is not silver crisp. This is just milk glass, but it looks like a cabbage. How cool is that, right? I just think that is so neat. And some silver crisp um, salt and pepper shakers, another basket. So that's my crest collection, my silver crest collection. Oh, here's a one that's a little different. This one is painted, and I think the painted ones are so pretty. And yes, it's Christmas, so it gets to stay in the back for now, but it'll come to the front in the season. Isn't that pretty? Okay. So I've been collecting for about a year, and Silvercrest is just a fun, it's pretty inexpensive. I don't even, I don't know how expensive my most expensive item is. Actually, I think my ebony basket is, and I think it was $75. And like I said, I can't afford that <laughs> to collect that, 
but the silver crest is not very expensive. So if you're looking for a new collection, you might consider it. I tell you what I'll do too. So I have, I watch glass auctions. Um, I really love to watch the glass auctions. Even if I don't buy anything, I learn a lot. So I will link below the Facebook groups that I watch if you want to go check them out because I think they deserve the business if you're interested and they're all really good at what they do. Um, but that is my collection. So I think that's everything. I think I did it. Look how patient. Vinny Boo. Very patient. Very patient. <laughs> Are you just sitting there scrolling? Yeah. Do you want to talk about your deer? His deer yeah. wall? Hmm? There they are. I know. Y'all seen his deer before. Y'all remember the battle that is the deer. Because if you don't know, I'm not a fan of hunting. And if you don't know, Vinny is. <laughs> so we're a split household. <laughs> but... Life is too short not to have something that you love in your house, right? I say your house should make you happy. I'm so thankful that you have that opinion. But the house should make you happy. And if those deer heads make you happy, then there they be. Yeah. So, I think that's it. Let's do one quick pan. I, I still think a turkey needs to be on the rail. No turkey. On the, he wants a turkey on the stair rail, y'all. In the comments below, tell him why that's such a bad idea. <laughs> Oh, I forgot one thing. My um, tree right there, that's from Stringtime in the Rockies too. Remember I showed that in a video. I'll link all of that below. My two swags are actually from our store. I didn't even talk about those. But he's like, would you talk about those, please? We carry these swags, and that's just ribbon from our store, just two bows that Shannon tied. By the way, they're gorgeous. Let me show you. They're Shannon bows. <laughs> I said, Shannon, I need two Shannon bows, please. Look how cute they are. Oh, the light is really messing with this. But those are just from our store. And these are from our store, too. These are those twisted wire um, wreath hangers. I love those. I forgot to say I painted my doors black, but you saw it. <laughs> that was a momentary lapse of judgment. But it's okay. It looks all right. But we're not going to show you how bad it looks up close. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks so much for being here this year for our fall home tour. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we do. And um, if I didn't talk about something... And you have a question, put it in the comments below. I tried to talk about everything, but you just never know. All right, guys, have a great one. Bye-bye.